I'm late, so let's just get into the review. So the um I think I want to talk about Stevie J and Faith first, and that was kind of the smallest of the storylines. Stevie J, um, well, Faith Evans, she went to some kind of like panel type thing where she was basically talking about music or whatever. So she has this conversation with Kelly Price. And she explains the situation to Kelly, uh, basically telling her, you know, Stevie professes love to me. He wants to be more than friends. And surprisingly, Kelly Price was kind of for the idea because, you know, she did say that, you know, I feel like friends make the best lovers, which I think in a lot of cases is true because when you've been friends with somebody, you've gotten to know them on a more personal level, I guess you can say. But then at the same time, like Kelly said, you know, when if the relationship doesn't work out, a lot of times that friendship is, you know, it ends up being dissolved when the relationship ends. Kelly was saying that, I mean, you mean Faith was basically saying that, you know, that was her fear that, you know, if the relationship doesn't work out, they won't be friends no more. But I mean, at the same time, but I mean, it's at least worth giving it a try because you don't want to, you know, go through life having these shoulda, coulda, wouldas, you know, maybe the the relationship maybe you know would have worked out so when they sit down and have dinner uh faith invites stevie j over to have dinner and she basically explains to him um you know her fears or whatever and so he goes to this whole thing well you know i'm a one woman man now i'm changed which when you've been known as a type of man to be a ladies man the type of man to be with more than one woman woman at a time the type of man to cheat on the person that you're supposed to be in a relationship with it's hard to prove to somebody that you're no longer that way. And so, you know, Faith has, her, you know, her rights to have those type of reservations when it comes to Stevie J. But eventually, you know, she tells him that she's willing to give it a try or whatever. Stevie meets up with Tommy, uh, you know, the crazy Tommy from Living Hip Hop. She was doing a photo shoot. And this is when she basically tells him that she wants to work with him on music. And, but then she said she's only been working on music for like three weeks. Now, I, I can't remember if she's trying to be a rapper or a singer, but like, you only been doing this for three weeks, girl. Like, you got to put in more work. And so, you know, that's what Stevie was basically telling her. So then she, you know, starts crying and going into these whole mood swings. I'm like, this girl is crazy for real. But then he tells her, you know, if you're serious about this, then I, we can meet up next week. So when we get to the scene where they're in the studio, he's trying to talk to her, but she's all on Instagram, um, you know, basically going off about, you know, people saying that she's trash and she ain't got no talent and wop, wop, wop. So then, you know, Stevie J was basically trying to tell her, like, girl, you got to be able to let stuff go and ignore stuff. And she was like, girl, I, I you know, I ain't no punk. Like, I got to dress this or she get on Instagram and do this whole video or whatever. Um, but I mean... As a, that's the thing about when you're a celebrity, you know, you're going to have people that love you. You're going to have people that hate you. You're going to have people that comment and talk about how much they love you and people that comment and talk about how much they hate you. It, I mean, it comes with the territory of being a celebrity or being in the spotlight. I mean, you and you just have to be able to, you know, ignore people when they come on your Instagram or your Twitter, Facebook, whatever. And when they come talking that mess and, and instead of you know going on and, and doing a video cussing people out just go block them um so then we get to this scene where he takes her to like this this uh i think it was like a buddhist temple where she's supposed to go meditate or whatever um basically stevie j was like girl because yeah she does she you know she does pop off real bad and she flies off the handle real quick you know she has a real bad anger problem and i mean you're not gonna be successful in this industry because people ain't gonna they're not gonna want to work with you if they figure every time they come, you know, come to you with some type of criticism or something that you're going to pop off, you're going to cuss them out, you're going to be ready to fight. Like, ain't nobody going to want to work with you like that. But eventually, you know, she does basically say that, you know, she's going to work on herself and try to be more calm and more cool and collected and, you know, work on her attitude or whatever. So, we, uh, Stevie J was starting to... He wants to uh, do like his own brand of like workout supplements, but he was looking for somebody to be the face of the company. So he does this challenge where he, uh, he gives Scrappy and Young Jock three weeks to work out and do whatever they need to do um, or whatever. And he takes them before pictures. So at the end of the three weeks, they come back um, 
pretty much ain't they ain't lost no weight. They still look the same. Even Jock had went and paid fifty dollars to get some spray on abs, and so you know he. But the crazy thing about it was he already had two women that he had already chosen to be the face of his supplements. But he was saying in the confessional that he wants wanted them to try to you know work out and lose weight and be healthy or whatever. Because yeah, Stevie J had put on. I mean not Stevie J, but Scrappy put on a lot of weight. Because when, when loving, I mean, he's always been kind of like thick and stocky, but you know, he's definitely put on weight. If you go back to like uh, Loving Hip Hop Atlanta when it first came on, and you look at him now, he's definitely put on a lot of weight. Um, Young Jock has put on a lot of weight. If you go back to when he first came out with Meet Me on a Trap, it's going, they used to be my jam. Anyway, and he, I mean, you know, he ain't like fat, fat, but he's put on a lot of weight. And when you, you know, trying to promote a workout supplement, you got to have somebody on, you know, the person that's supposed to be the face or the body, the face or the body or the representation of your brand, they got to look like they work out. Um, but that was pretty much it. I, side note, Stevie J actually has a new show coming out called Penthouse Pets, where basically he's supposed to be going around to, I think, these different states picking eight women to be on the cover of Penthouse Magazine and it's, and um, Mimi is going to be like his assistant or whatever. I don't know exactly when the show first came out, but I found that out watching Wendy Williams. Um, and then also, uh, you know, prayers for the, the family and the church of Bishop Eddie Long. He passed uh, over the weekend. Um, you know, everybody has their own opinions or whatever, but I'm, you know, all I'm asking is that you would pray for his family, pray for his church family, because regardless of you know whether you know what he was accused of or you know what he allegedly did or didn't do you know it's still a very painful thing to lose somebody um but uh, the only thing i'm gonna say in regards to that is that i hope he had got us that he was right with god before he passed but anyway that's all i want that's pretty much all the episode entailed but thank you all for watching be sure to like comment and subscribe to the channel and i will see you in the next video peace